Richard and Tony have inspired us to use this occasion to raise funds for an incredibly amazing organization, the Starlight Foundation of Children in Australia. And I visited their facility here in Perth uh, earlier today, and I was just blown away by the amazing work that Louise and her team have done. At Starlight, we transform the experience of hospitalization and treatment. So what we do is we give these children back their childhood. We give them a chance to have fun, to smile, and for me to see a child come into a Starlight Express room with their head down, their shoulders down, in pain, in a wheelchair with an IV drip, and to see that same child 20 minutes later, throwing their head back, roaring with laughter, and completely forgetting where they are and what's happening to them, that's what we do. Richard hired me. It was my first job at Virgin Television, and again, Richard was way ahead of his time. But I am really thrilled that he hired me, but I'm even more thrilled that tomorrow I'm his boss. <laughs> and he's going to have to do what I say. <laughs> and if he does that, I'll fire him like I've done on The Apprentice. <laughs> and I'll enjoy every single moment. Three years ago, we were in Bahrain. Uh, both of us owning a Formula One team and realizing that both of us are going to be the back. And we were thinking about how could we do something to make it a little bit interesting. Um, two and a half years later, he sent me an email and said, Tony, I'm going to be in, in Perth. I've got to honor the bet. That to me is a mark of a true man that doesn't forget his obligations and, the, and his obligation to Starlight Foundation. So please give him a round of applause. Yeah, it's true. We, um, we both had uh, Grand Prix teams and I was absolutely certain that I was going to win and I thought it would look very fetching for Tony to be in a, in a Virgin Atlantic stewardess outfit. Um, something went wrong. Um, of course, the drivers who ran that race, they're no longer with us. <laughs> I knew that one day, one day it had to happen, so I thought, whilst my legs were still looking half decent, I, would, I better just get, it, get the plane over with. Take your trousers off, Richard. No, 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 no. Oh, Frank, I'm your boss. All right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>